So back in May, took the motor home up with a couple buddies, went bear hunting, and had a problem with the with the uh, house batteries. Uh, they weren't charging when I was running the generator. So I've been working on it for the last couple weeks, and this is what I came up with. Let's start with right here. Battery compartment. I bought a kit. It has a battery shunt. That bar there coming off that negative battery post. And I bought some cable with seven conductors. In it. And that's going inside go inside here and it's going to these two gauges they read voltage and current and that's what that current shot is for is to predict, pick up the current off the, off the batteries this was the old dash panel as you can see broken in a bunch of places and had a big huge gaping hole here made out of cheap plastic thank you holiday rambler so got a piece of eighth inch aluminum sheet and I cut a new panel just like I did last year for this panel that has a new radio has a backup camera built into the radio and I installed some USB charging ports and switch to turn off the USB sockets and a switch to turn on and off the backup camera. And this, these were the existing lights uh, for the flood for the floodlight. I got a spotlight up on the roof that I can remotely turn it around and look in case we got any creeps prowling around in the dark at night anyway so I had to cut that panel out and replace it it was a piece of junk just like the other one and this is the new one so I'm going to show you how those new gauges work before we get started there we're connected to shore power at the moment all right now we're going to show you the gauges Alrighty, so this is the on-off switch for the gauges. Let's see if they can power up there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can read them. So this is going into the batteries. So this is shore power at the moment. It's going at 0.11 amps of charge, and I got 12.75 volts. And I just kind of ignore these there. Uh, 12.74 close difference between the gauges and I got no current going out no current going right here zero being used at the moment by the coach all right I'm gonna go unplug the shore power watch this gauge this right here okay if you look at it it went to zero as in we're not using any current at the moment the batteries aren't being used at all they're not charging or they're not discharging. Charging, discharging. So if I start the generator. You can see that the voltage fluctuated a little bit. And it's, it's showing a little bit of usage on the current. But it's going to flip here in a second. There you go it's now charging but it's not charging very much and the, and this these gauges help me troubleshoot this when you turn the generator on to start it I'm gonna figure out why it's squealing the light comes on saying you have 12 volts for the 12 volt appliances and if you read here it's just oh 
uh, charging at 14. But until it looks like it's turned on, but you have to hit this button and you can actually hear a relay click. Probably not picked up on the camera. But if we come back here, if we come back here, you can see I'm now charging those batteries with 13 amps from the generator. And we're not using anything yet. But let me go turn on the refrigerator. Okay, the refrigerator is turned on and it's not drawing anything off, off those batteries because it's running off the 110 volts being put out by the generator. Let's shut off the generator. You see everything go back. Okay, now my switch back there I just showed you with the red light on it is still turned on. So it has 0.42 amps to draw while it's, it's turned on. Now watch what happens to my amperage draw coming out of the batteries when I go turn that batter, uh, refrigerator back on. Point four six watts right here. So that refrigerator is using just over one amp of draw on these batteries. I assume that would be amp hour. Okay, I'm gonna go shut the refrigerator off. Now I'm gonna start the diesel motor and have you watch the input. Yes, a 12 valve Cummins. And it has a little bit of a time delay and you're gonna watch this one. It's gonna kick in. There you go. Now that is kicking out some current. 29 amps, 28. And that's just from the alternator from the from the diesel motor. Let's go flip the I'll flip the freezer the refrigerator back on see if we see any output draw. Not a thing. So that refrigerator is running off the alternator. And not drawing from the batteries while the engine is running. All right, let's shut it back down. Okay, I'm going to go reach over and shut off the DC power for the house. And that gauge jumped down to zero. So. I think I may have figured out what the problem all to begin, along to begin with was. And I think it's this guy here. Because when you have the generator running or the engine running, it comes on, lights red, and it provides 12 volts to all the 12 volt lighting and for the refrigerator to run. But if you don't physically come over and hit the use button, it actually does not charge the generator or the engine uh, diesel motor for the drivetrain does not charge the house batteries even though the light is on. I think that's what I figured out so far. So hopefully we're good to go for the next trip, but um, I don't have an instruction manual that came with the motorhome for this box explaining a lot of that so i just have to discover it by trial and error and installing those gauges i think made the difference now i can constantly monitor that oh and i've got uh, if you flip this one on here i didn't get a chance to show you that. so it's that lights are not going to show very well <laughs> on the camera it does say 12.6 at the moment that is the coach batteries in the back by the diesel motor so that voltage is different than this voltage because i have we have five batteries in the 
in this coach. Two for running the drivetrain diesel motor and three for reserve power for running the interior house appliances and lighting and such. So, shutting that off. I installed that switch right there. Um, might not really be necessary, but I, these gauge, gauges are supposed to have very little actual draw and are not supposed to be capable of running down the battery, but we store this thing through the winter when there's snow out, and it's about six months. And I just wanted to be able to make sure I didn't have anything drawn on those batteries while it's stored. So there you have it. A better looking dashboard without a gaping hole. Doesn't quite match the old stuff. I'm not going to replace those two panels. I think they're okay. This one has a little bit of a crack in there. Um, they're okay for now. Much better setup. More modernized. Doesn't look too homemade. <laughs> and hopefully you found this useful and interesting and of benefit. If you have an RV and you're trying to figure out your battery management so you're not going dead uh, when you shouldn't be going dead. So there you have it. Should be ready for the next adventure. The next adventure is, let's see, August 1st is the start of Oregon general fall bear season. We may have the motorhome up there. We'll see. I prefer to have my wall tent packed in, but it's nice to have this as an option. Anyway. Peace out.